everybody, Ethan Newberry here for another GingerRunner.com review. Today we are reviewing the Ultra Torin 1.5. As some of you might remember, I reviewed some Ultra shoes a while back, the Lone Peak 1.5 and the Ultra Torin. This is the follow-up to the Torin. This is the Torin 1.5. They look really similar. That's because they are, but there are a few differences. Really most of the differences in the 1.5 come in the upper. There's a lot of things going on with the lacing, the tongue itself, the heel, the heel counter. Everything from the midsole down essentially is the same as the Torn. So it's a small update to a shoe that I already reviewed. A lot of the likes and dislikes are gonna be fairly similar. So if you wanna go watch that review, all you have to do is just click right here. Just click right there and you can go watch that one get prepped for this one. But I will say overall, I had a better experience in the 1.5 than I did in the first version. And I'll get to why in the review. So let's do it. Things that I like about the Ultra Torin 1.5. Wide toe box. As with all Ultra shoes, they feature that wonderful wide toe box. It allows your foot to have plenty of room up there. Toes can splay freely. It's a huge benefit and you feel it instantly. I had some issues in the first version where my foot didn't really feel secure up in that wide toe box. It did remedy that a bit in the 1.5 and I'll tell you how in a little bit. But overall, I like the toe box. Zero drop. As with all Ultra shoes, they also feature zero drop, where the stack height from heel to toe does not change. It's pretty much the same across the board. I'm a big fan of that. I think it really helps a natural gait. These shoes have it. All Ultras have it. It's good. The Ultra Torn 1.5 is cushioned. As I mentioned, it's the same midsole, same outsole as the Torn. So really, I like it the same as I liked that in the Torn. What's with the voice? I like it. Lacing. Now here's where it gets good with this particular version. They change the lacing considerably. Rather than having seven eye holes on either side, I said eye holes, the 1.5s feature six. They spread them out a little bit and move them down a little bit into the forefoot. So you actually get a really nice cinch when you tighten those laces. And they change the laces themselves. So rather than being round noodle-like, they're flat linguine-like. And they work a lot better. A lot better at cinching down and securing your foot in there. The lacing system's different and I like it. The tongue strap. I'm gonna call it a tongue strap. I don't know if that's technically what they wanna call it, but tongue strap. There's a little strap of fabric that connects the tongue down to the bottom. It's like a gusset, but it's not the full length of the shoes, just a little strap. Because of all the extra fabric in the upper, that little strap actually helps tighten that shoe onto your foot, gives you a more secure sensation, keeps your foot from moving around a whole bunch, and when you cinch down those laces, it really works. It's a nice addition. Subtle, but nice. And finally, the upper materials. They changed the material, not considerably, but it's much softer, much more flexible than the previous shoe's material, and I like that a lot. It's still thick, and that's a problem, but the material is easier on my foot. Okay, so let's move on to the things that I don't like about the 1.5. First of all, and most importantly, weight. The Ultra Torin weighed in just over 9 ounces, which I still thought was pretty heavy. You would think in the second version, or in this case, the half version, they would reduce the weight, when in reality, they increase it by almost an ounce. The shoe is over 10 ounces, and I don't know how. The same midsole and outsole, they didn't change it at all. I think it was a great opportunity for them to kind of mix it up a little bit, maybe make it more cushioned, more flexible, some of the issues that I had in the first version. While I do know that there are other Ultra shoes that are coming out that are far more cushion, far more flexible. This particular shoe could have used a little bit of tweaking in the midsole and outsole material. Heel counter stiffness. Now the heel counter is this whole area back here in the heel that kind of keeps you locked in. The stiffness of this is still increased. It's still a really stiff heel counter and it spreads on into the midfoot and that kind of bugs me a little bit. I don't like anything that adds too much stiffness to a shoe. I like my shoe to be flexible. Again with the voices. Weird. Padding and thick upper. I believe they added more padding right here around the ankle, right where I don't like it. The whole shoe looks and feels like a skater shoe. It's really thick around that ankle area. I like a shoe to be minimal and just hug my skin. This feels like it's trying to hug the skin, but because the shoe is wider all the way through, they have to compensate by adding more padding, more cushioning in there, and I think that adds weight. And finally, stiffness. It's the same issue that I had in the first version. The additional stack height in the midsole material contributes to an overall stiffness, and unfortunately, it, it does bug me. But that is it for dislikes. Again, I want to reiterate that this shoe is a better ride for me than the first version. So don't get me wrong. I do run in this more than I did in the first version. I almost gave up on the first version entirely. Definitely a shoe that gets me curious about the other Ultra shoes that they are coming out with in 2014. Superior, Paradigm, the one, two. So stay tuned because I will be reviewing those hopefully soon. Now before I move on, I gotta get to the points. Quality, I gotta give it three out of five. There are a couple issues still with the upper while they did improve in some areas. Took a step back again, heel, Weight. Overall quality, 3 out of 5. Comfort, 4 out of 5. This was a strong 4 because I did get a better ride out of the 1.5 that I did with the first version. Nice work. Price, I gotta go 3 out of 5. It's $120. You can get the first version for half of that. So if you want a version that's not too different than the 1.5, just get the first version for half the price, 60 bucks. And finally looks, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I don't think this particular color stay is the best, but the other one makes up for it. It's black, blue, and orange. It's 
pretty cool. I don't think they're terribly ugly shoes. Might be borderline three out of four, but I'll, I'll round up. That brings our total to 14 out of 20, which is the same score that I gave the Ultra Torin, but they're very similar shoes. This had a couple added benefits, but a couple negatives that basically balance them out. So the question of the day is, have you tried the Ultra Torin or the Ultra Torin 1.5? What do you think about either of them? Would you prefer one over the other? I know a lot of you are fans of the shoes. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below and let me know. So that is it for today's review, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like, favorite, and subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the sampler. And if you really liked it, why don't you share it? Why don't you tell your friends, hey, look, this ginger runner guy, he's doing fun stuff with reviews. He's the only one being honest. But don't forget, I'm on all the social networks. So be sure to follow me on Twitter at the ginger runner over on Facebook, facebook.com slash the ginger runner on Instagram at Ethan Newberry. And of course, gingerrunner.com, the hub for all things great. And I want to remind you that I am doing live shows, me talking to you live in the chat room every single Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific. I'm bringing on special guests, friends, coaches, athletes, everything. You don't want to miss those. They're all archived and on demand as well on my YouTube channel. They are a blast. And they'll be available in podcast form very soon. I hope you guys are getting out there and training hard, racing harder, parting hardest. I know I am. Woohoo! Train, race, beer. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. I have a very special review I cannot wait to share with you. So we'll see you then. Bye.